Welcome back to the channel. It's Totally Cody here back with another TV show reaction. And today we're going to be watching part five of season 10 for The Big Bang Theory. And I got to say, I'm really excited because Bernadette and Howard just had their baby. So like, there's a lot going on already in this season. We're not even like halfway done yet. So like, we have a lot of time to really go. And then we have 11 and 12 still. So we're coming on the home stretch, guys, of these seasons. But you know what? It's okay because we always got more shows to do, right? So if you guys would like to watch my full length reaction to the Big Bang Theory on my Patreon, go ahead and check for the link down in the description of this video, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining me. And now it's time to sit back, relax, and watch TV show together. Let's continue the Big Bang Theory. Oh, God. What do we got going on here? What's all this? Well, it sounded like you were having a rough day, so I wanted you to come home to something nice. Oh, that is so thoughtful. Hey, do you remember when we went wine tasting in Santa Barbara and you said that was the best rosé you'd ever had? Yeah, I remember us driving up there, going to the winery, and that's it. Pink wine and pizza bagels? It's like eighth grade all over again. <laughs> I'm so eighth lucky grade, oh my God. Be careful, these are hot. I, I could explain the thermodynamics of why the cheese seems hotter than the crust, but instead I'm gonna keep it to myself. Your soul is, it's like a secret that I never could keep. <laughs> You did not just okay. quote an NSYNC song. Yeah, literally. Like... I quoted your favorite NSYNC song. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my God. <laughs> Damn, I burped so hard I died in my game. <laughs> <laughs> there was a part of me that thought that was too good to be true. There was no way that Leonard was actually doing all of that. And she just, I don't know. It was just weird. It's nice, I wear a size eight and a half. <laughs> That's small. <laughs> so tell me, do you have any plans? I wear for the a weekend? size eight and a half. Are you gonna laugh at the answer? <laughs> Only if the answer is shopping for baby shoes. <laughs> is it weird that we're having girls' night here, but you don't live here anymore, so it's basically my girls' night? I really thought about it, but now you're thinking about it and it bothers you. I get that. <laughs> <laughs> Things going well with you and Sheldon living together? Better than ever. Leonard used to do all these things, like bring me flowers and wear pants. <laughs> it's okay, Howie never has on pants. The Domino's guy brings a pizza like this now. <laughs> well, Sheldon always has his pants on. I don't think I could pick his knees out of a lineup. Oh my God. If you do that, I'll win in eight moves. <laughs> I went in five moves. <laughs> Sheldon's going to win. Just, just admit it. He's going to win. Hey, what's going on with you? I don't want to talk about it. Oh, come on, just tell me. Fine. Hey, this is healthy communication Lately, here. Lately, I kind of feel like you've been taking me for granted. Oh. What? Where is this coming from? Leonard, she might be drunk. All she had was chips. <laughs> <laughs> just since we got married, you seem to think you don't have to try anymore. MIT's motto is mind and hand, which just so happens was also my motto as a lonely teenager. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. We just That's, need to be That more means creative. exactly what you think it means, What if people? you <laughs> didn't step on the floor at all? Yeah. Like, what if you swung on a rope from the ceiling? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Um, kill the baby with okay, that one. What if you rig up a pulley system and move yourself across the room in a harness? No, don't do that either. Mission Impossible style. No. no. <laughs> you know what? I, I feel uncomfortable engaging in a public display of affection while their relationship is strained. Go ahead, it's fine. Bye. Bye. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'll miss you more. Well, if X equals the amount that you'll miss me, then I'll miss you X plus one. <laughs> oh my God. Just if go. If you miss me X plus one, I'll miss you. Open paren, X plus one. Close paren, ten seconds. <laughs> Thank you. And I remember when you loved playing games with me. Maybe Penny isn't the only relationship you're phoning in. Wow. It's not that I'd stopped trying, it's just how relationships progress. They start with infatuation, but over time mellow into something more comfortable. Hmm. Hey, you're right. 
plot out where each squeak is and we can find a quiet path to the crib. Or just fix the floor. It looks like a map from Dungeons and Dragons. Mm, except the creature in the crib is a level nine poop monster. <laughs> okay, uh, you check for squeaks and I will mark them down. Okay, space A3, here we go. It's nice to think that you grew up in this room and now your daughter's going to as well. I hope she has the same amount of sex in it I did. Now, next square. <laughs> okay, that's something I've never heard a dad say. Why do you bounce with your hands in the air like that? <laughs> it's a tradition of my people. If I were a rich man. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Penny went to this spa to be away from you. Are you sure you should be going there? I don't want to wait two days for us to work this out. Oh Very my well. God, Leonard! You're going you're to the, sp spur at no. the moment. No, I don't see why your divorce should be any. If you're fighting with your spouse or even boyfriend girlfriend, you let them breathe for a couple days. Like let it let it mellow out. Sheldon walked on my back two weeks ago, but that was just because there was a spider on his pillow and he was trying to get away. <laughs> Leonard stood on me once too, but he was just trying to see the rose parade. <laughs> the protocol are you gonna be naked for your massage yeah then this is probably too many clothes <laughs> oh i thought she was all right can you please just go and we'll talk about this tomorrow i don't understand what you want i'm trying to figure it out do it if you'd like i could whip up a quick relationship agreement no like i'm at a spa i might as well do something relaxing uh, sheldon why don't we give them some privacy stretch <laughs> oh my god Maybe in looser pants. <laughs> then step, grab, tiny pivot, pull, and you're there. <sighs> oh, easy peasy, Mac and <sighs> you get the idea. <laughs> <laughs> they went to all that effort when they could have just fixed the floorboards and just called it a day. Just get new ones. There's a cucumber in my water. Yes. Uh-huh. Do they know it's there? I'm just, should yes. I tell somebody? <laughs> no. It's there on purpose. It's refreshing. We realized that uh, we're facing some new challenges as a married couple. Yeah, and there are a few things we need to stay on top of. So we thought it would be useful. I can't believe I am about to say this. Um, would you please help us make a relationship agreement? <laughs> oh my God. Uh, one that's tailored to us, okay? We don't need a bathroom schedule. I say, let's get this party of the first part started. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the first time I've ever heard her laugh like really? that. That's funny. It's in our agreement, I have to laugh. <laughs> Article 8, subsection B. Leonard will restrict video gaming in underpants to hours Penny is not home. This includes boxers, briefs, thongs, G-strings, or anything else that calls attention to his pasty little thighs. Oh my god. That was a shot at Leonard, all right. I really need to say that. I did this for free. Let me get a little something. Me too. Oh, well, great then. Here, you sign here, date here. And Penny, if you could initial here to indicate that you're accepting Leonard in as is condition. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. You seem to be forgetting the no nostalgia clause. Right, right, got it. <laughs> What's going on with that woman you're dating? I broke up with her. Why? She said she didn't want to see me anymore and I found that insulting. <laughs> well, well, yeah. Things are going well. What happened? What are the reasons women reject Raj? There's probably a Can lot, to be honest with you. Hmm? Doesn't like games, that's one. I'm not a virgin, Sheldon. Well, so now you think you're better than Isaac Newton? Oh. <laughs> I wonder women don't like you. <laughs> That's a paradox. I mean, if you meant what you just said, then that means you may not admit what you just said. Careful, I saw this on Star Trek. Smoke's gonna come out of his ears soon. <laughs> hey. hey, boys, how's it going? Well, I thought we were Great. having a nice conversation, but it turns out I was being offensive. Okay, I'm fine. You did, don't fall for it. No, he'll get you to compare him to a dead virgin, and suddenly you're the bad guy. <laughs> Sheldon, when I said I was fine, I meant I didn't want to talk about it anymore. You have no idea what it's like to struggle with recognizing emotional cues. 
I'm sure it's extremely frustrating. Thank you. And also a little sad. Okay, now you're just showing off. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be accurate like 85% of the time. Wow, I find that hard to believe. That a bunch of awkward scientists with no social skills would invent a machine to do it for them? I take it back, I believe it. <laughs> yeah, that makes more you sense. You know, if it's at MIT, I can make some calls. You could also help me identify my enemies, discover their fears, and then... <laughs> I could use those fears to destroy them. No! I like the first one. You could make it a train room. I don't like trains, you like trains. I know, and Amy says I can't have a train room. <laughs> Sheldon, I just heard from the guys at MIT about that emotion reader. They're sending a prototype for you to beta test. Maybe I could use it to understand why women keep dumping me. Well, you don't need a machine for that. Just send a survey card to all your ex-girlfriends and tell them if they fill it out, they might win a prize. <laughs> it's actually not a bad idea. Get them all together, sort of like a, a focus group to find out what's No, wrong you don't with... want to do that. You don't no, want to do that. Gosh, that's a nope. terrible idea. Great news, the TV I want will fit in the gaming room, and if I leave the curtains open, I can watch it from work. <laughs> wow. Hey, can you hold off redoing that room? My brother's coming out here in a few weeks. Oh, yeah, okay, sure. You think they'll consider someone who was in prison for selling drugs? I'm thinking of a different question, really actually. It's hard to spell word for drugs. <laughs> well, I'm sure he'll appreciate carrying his samples in a briefcase instead of his colon. You don't have a problem with this, do you? No, of course not. I <laughs> would a little bit. Thank you. You're the best. Remember that when the new TV falls off the wall and crushes us both. <laughs> now when the robots rise up, they'll know that I've been rooting for them the whole time. <laughs> The display is synced to your phone. Give it a try. All right, now I'm gonna look at some pictures to prompt an emotional response, and we'll see if the machine can identify them accurately. Remember, it can only detect happy, sad, angry, and excited, not other things you're feeling like, what have I done with my life? Happy? Yes, I'm looking at puppies. Oh, <laughs> and somebody's ignoring their tiny needle teeth, but all right. <laughs> try another one. Okay. What does it say I'm feeling? Sad. Yes. Yes. And you're worried that there turkey neck is in your future. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sheldon, see, that's not at all you're what you was thinking. Make up your mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sounds great. See you then. No, Wait, he's Emily, not you're doing that. Yeah. He's not doing it. I'm getting all my exes no. together in order to discuss no. why they broke up with me and how I can be a better boyfriend. God, you went through with that? What is wrong with you? You're not gonna get information. You're just gonna get criticism that hurts your feelings. Don't worry, I'm a grown man. I have a thick skin. You're so stupid. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> he really worked with the Drug Enforcement Agency? He didn't know it till he was cuffed, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Leonard, if you're happy and you know it, no need to clap your hands because I have an emotion detector. What you are, aren't you sweet? <laughs> What's that? Are you working on your resume? No, it's my brother's. I'm trying to help him get a job out here. Ooh, and that makes Leonard angry. <laughs> no, it doesn't. But, uh, Leonard, please. I know an angry face when I see it. It's this red frowny guy on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, you invited your drug dealer brother to stay with us for God knows how long and didn't bother to ask me first. He's my brother. I didn't think I needed your permission. Well, hey, now she's angry too. I mean, this they both like live together. That would be something you'd probably ask your other person. Stop enjoying their fight. You first. <laughs> if you were this upset, why didn't you say so when I first told you? Because I didn't want to sound like a jerk. Well, you sound like one now. I don't see the big deal if my brother comes and stays for a while. Well, if you get him a job, he's going to live here forever. He would get his own place. You know, how is this any different from you making me live with Sheldon? You, hey, I shared my Honey Nut Cheerios with you. <laughs> you gave me a bill at the end of every month. That's true, actually. Stay out of this. You and your stupid machine started this fight. I think it loses its impact if we're chatting about it. Fine, I'll just give him the finger. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, First goodness, off, he really brought I all of them. I want to thank you all so much for coming. Both of you are named Emily, so we'll call you Red-Headed Emily and you Red-Headed Emily Jr. <laughs> Okay, this is already a problem. You went out with him. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I'm surprised I'm she Lucy actually came. And 
I broke up with Raj because I have severe social anxiety and he kept trying to force me into uncomfortable situations. Like he did right here. Like this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I'm Claire and I guess I broke up with you because you were just really needy. Also, you know, we're incredibly vain. Like, all the time you spend shaping your eyebrows. Okay, new rule, everybody only gets one. <laughs> uh, next? Well, whenever you and I were in bed. How would get out? <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> so, you were telling us how Raj was terrible in bed. I don't think that's where she was going with ready. that. I made beef loaf because I know you're uncomfortable with the non-specificity of meatloaf. What is he doing? He's asleep. Hey, oh no, he's okay? not. Not really. What's going on? I wish I never tried that device. I always knew I had trouble recognizing other people's emotions, but that machine just made it so real. Well, everybody has things that they need help with. Like uh, me, I can't see without my glasses. You know, right now, you're just a, a cute pink smudge wearing a childish green smudge. <laughs> there have definitely been days when I was sad and you could tell. Yeah, but that's shooting fish in a barrel. You're kind of a sad sack. Oh my god. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. I'm just upset. I feel the same way about you. No, put your glasses back on. You look weird. <laughs> Good job, Sheldon. I thought you were great, but oh my god, you were so dominated by your parents. Going out with Raj was one of the best things that ever happened to me. Yes, I'll take you back. <laughs> no, see, that's the problem. Let me finish. After I broke up with Raj, I met Gary, who's just amazing. Sorry, is that Gary with one R or two? D would you stop writing? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so did all of you go on to better relationships after me? Oh, yeah, without question. A little before, actually. What did she say? Uh, basically, she know. traded you for Bruce Wayne. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, maybe we should just end this. Well, hang on. I just want to point out to everyone here, this is a man who is going to great lengths to better himself. Honestly, I'm surprised you two didn't wind up together. <laughs> I've been toying with that notion since season one. Well, like you gals, I had to suffer through him to find Bernadette. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about the suitcase. Well, you should be. Your socks were still in it. I had to throw it away. <laughs> anyway, I uh, trust that you've resolved your conflict. Yes, we're fine. Penny's gonna call her dad and tell him it's not a good time for Randall to visit. He won't be mad at me. I mean, you're the one who doesn't want my brother to come. So, <laughs> so you're gonna throw me under the bus? Oh, I'm gonna oh, God. You Problem so started again. I actually win a stuffed animal. <laughs> an emotion machine. I am one. <laughs> Thanks, ladies. This was fun. Let's not wait so long for another bizarre, awkward night. Maybe I won't sit alone. Maybe I'll just play the field. The field was just here. The field said no. <laughs> Dude, come on. I'll make you a deal. 30 years from now, if you're still single and things don't work out with me and Bernadette, you and I can give it a go. I appreciate really? the offer, but if things don't work out with you two, I'm swooping in on her like a vulture. <laughs> if you and I were in a gay relationship, how would we tell people? Like, print up announcements? <laughs> I don't, I don't think it'd be very hard for people to believe but it I if you told them. I want to make sure we get invited to all the parades. <laughs> That's not how that fun. works. Yeah, well... I'm not gonna get fat. Oh, you wanna bet? You never exercise. Fine. Look, I'll exercise right now. One. <laughs> hey, is that any way to talk to your future husband? Hey, I was being hypothetical, okay? I would never marry you. Oh, please, when you see the ring I pick out, you're gonna melt. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> Wait, is it rose gold? Actually, don't tell me. I want to be surprised. <laughs> you wind up sending that machine back? I did. No, I'm not even sure how accurate it was. I took it to the train store. It said everyone was sad. <laughs> <laughs> we finally got Hallie to sleep. Pregnancy causes physiological changes in the brain that result in increased empathy. Oh, so all we need to do oh. is get Sheldon knocked up. That's why my stepmom was always nice when she was pregnant. She was already fixed when I found him at the shelter. You're better than us. A little bit sorry for us, but mostly glad you don't have to be us. <laughs>
keep filling this one with baby, she's good. <laughs> I'm zeroing out the electroosmotic flow rate in the microfluidic channel. Nicely done, Howard. <laughs> well, my wife is four foot ten and sexually satisfied, so clearly I know my way around tiny things. Wow. But for you, on the cutting edge of new technology and still making inappropriate comments about the mother of your child. We need to stop immediately. What's wrong? I am looking at the math, and I think we can make the device between 8 and 10% smaller. That's great, but Ow. the Air Force approved the specs. We're good to go. Yeah, it doesn't need to be smaller. Where would we be if poodle breeders had that attitude? <laughs> this I'll is true. You, we would have the standard and the miniature poodle, but no toy or teacup. Which, by the way, is not an officially recognized breed, but that's just poodle politics. Sheldon, we don't need to make this smaller. Your work is done. Go home. I don't want to go home. Fine, go for a little walk. Then what? <laughs> Just keep walking. <laughs> you know, I, I do have a way to get him out of our hair. I've been holding on to this for a few years, but maybe now's the time. We can just lock the door. You don't have to kill him. <laughs> can't kill him, he'll just respawn at the last save point. <laughs> oh, that was my sixth trip to the bathroom. Congratulations. The bearer of this certificate is entitled to the ultimate train experience oh boy. at the Nevada Northern Railway. Oh boy. You are at the throttle. You are the engineer. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't happen very often, but here comes a hug. <laughs> <laughs> He's oh, great. Yeah. I have to tinkle again. Okay, where were we? <laughs> For Howie's occupation, should I include that he was an astronaut? Well, he mentioned it in his mother's eulogy, so why not? <laughs> I can't believe you have to fill out a preschool application for an infant. I also skipped a birthing class to see Zootopia, so back off. Hey, that was a good trade-off right there. Zootopia was a great uh, movie. He's back at work and there's just so much going on. No, no, I will take care of it. Thank you. It doesn't even sound like a baby. Sounds like a right, screeching you know you bird. A night away from all of this, you know, where you can just kind of relax and... Okay, I'm just gonna... <laughs> Turn this off. All this week, the Early Music Society of Pasadena is doing a joint concert with the San Gabriel Renaissance Choir. Is that a good thing? Hey, that's the one to beat. <laughs> good luck. People have been saying that for 600 years. You're home early. You'll never believe it. Leonard gave me the most incredible gift, a trip to a historic railway, and I get to operate an actual locomotive. <laughs> wow. You finally used it, what'd you do? Oh no. No idea. All I know is I'm gonna be working on the railroad all the live long day. The railway is four hours from the nearest airport and guess who gets to drive me? I give up. You! No, I really give up. <laughs> oh, oh, and guess where we get to sleep? Our choice of a turn of the century railway bunkhouse or a working caboose. Now, the problem with the caboose is there's no bathroom. On the first day, I get to drive a steam engine. This is well, really the happening day, still. a diesel engine. Oh, and if I volunteer to do track maintenance and paperwork, they'll let me stay as long as I want. I get to take a test based on a 125-page manual. I get to learn things like hand signals. Whoa, there's forward, the reverse, you set the brakes. Are you done yet? You're missing some great stuff out here. <laughs> How much information could you possibly read about crossings this? There things you have to blow the whistle for. You know, that is the figurative you, not the literal you. I'll be blowing the whistle. This train thing worked out better than I thought. He's home studying the engineer's manual. <sighs> So peaceful without him here. Can I ask you how much that cost? Four thousand dollars worth every penny. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, oh, sir, what there is? he is. What's this? Oh, uh, nothing. Just some math we don't need. This is a different approach. Are you trying to get the guidance system even smaller? It's just a theory. Well, it's not even worked out. Oh, <laughs> I want this. <laughs> <laughs> But we've already met the agreed upon specs. We've put a lot of thought and effort into this current prototype. It's a really elegant solution, and most importantly, it works. Yeah, I want this. They should have erased it before he came in. Make this. <laughs> the kid with the two shirts screwed us again. <laughs> <laughs> 
guys ready to get crazy? Well, the bra under here ain't beige. Oh, under the careful supervision of her godfather. My apologies. Didn't mean to offend you, Don Corleone. <laughs> like I said, you ladies have fun. He will. Got my dancing shoes, got my breast pump. Let's party. Call me, don't call Howard. <laughs> yeah, I would never call Howard. You call Howard, he probably will tell you to call Bernadette. All night, let's just split up the baby chores. Yeah, great. Um, I'll put food in the top half. You deal with whatever comes out the bottom. Uh-oh. What's he welding in there? Because that's welding. What is that? I don't know. But if he yells, it's alive, we run. <laughs> what I tell you, he's welding. <laughs> oh, hey. How'd you even get that up the stairs? I said to myself, I think I can, I think I can. <laughs> and then I couldn't, so. I paid two men who promised not to come rob us later. Since I discovered the satisfaction of working with my hands on a train engine, I don't think I can go back to theory. I'm an engineer now. Oh, God. And, hey, just to be clear, a train engineer. How that goofy thing <laughs> you are. Sorry, I need to work on this engine so when I get to the train yard, I won't look foolish. <laughs> He's worried about looking foolish. That's a heaping helping of irony right there. Come on, you know you're not leaving physics. Why are you doing this? But when I was studying that railway guide, it was so tangible and so satisfying that something just clicked. Then it clacked. <laughs> Then it clicked, then it clacked, to click, a clack, a clickety clack, and here we are. Whoa! Woo! <laughs> okay, stop that. No more preschool talk. Tonight is about having fun. Nothing says fun like being scolded. <laughs> oh, it's Raj. Everything okay? Don't worry, everything's fine. I checked the date that you wrote on the bottle, and it says Flub's Day. It says Tuesday. How is that a T? <laughs> I'm sure it's fine, but if you're worried, there's extra milk in the freezer. You're wasting perfectly good milk. Fine, you drink it. It's just milk. Stuart, don't you drink my milk! <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we just throw this away? What else are you gonna do with it? Put it in your coffee? Well, I don't take it black. <laughs> don't do that, Stuart. Hey. Everything that I feel about you will just be destroyed by that. All right. <clears throat> hmm. Maybe we can find another theoretical physicist to help us. It's classified. If we tell anyone, we'd get in trouble. Hey, I came up with that, and hmm, you wouldn't pitch anything. <laughs> Just keep thinking. I got it. But when we show this nonsense to Sheldon, it will make him crazy, and he'll have to fix it. <laughs> You're a genius. Uh, I know. Yeah. That's not even a math symbol. That's just Charlie Brown's hair. <laughs> <laughs> How could they turn it into a bookstore? Thought we got rid of all those. <laughs> Renaissance choir is looking pretty good right now, huh? <laughs> she was sleeping just fine till you took a selfie with her. <laughs> she was blowing a spit bubble. It was adorable. You guys got this? Do you need me to come home? <laughs> Oh, okay, false alarm. Little parenting tip. Sleeping babies hate flash photography. No, you don't say. I may have just left my infant daughter with Patrick and SpongeBob. <laughs> hey, there's another dance club nearby. I mean, That's I don't know how you one. feel about Latin music. You sure? They're open till dose. <laughs> yeah, That's two up. Michael, for people on. that don't know. I'm just not really in the mood anymore. What's going on with you? I don't know. This is all starting to feel like a sad attempt to recapture our youth. I'm not sad. Okay, well, maybe I'm the one who's sad. What are you sad about? Maybe the fact that you went and had a baby. You said I had a baby? No, of course not. I just, I didn't think it would make me have all these feelings. What feelings? Pressure. Being a parent is terrifying. I'm constantly worried. I'm always tired. And in a few minutes, I'm going to milk myself in a bookstore parking lot. <laughs> I get that, okay? It's just Leonard and I have been married for two years, and we're no further along than when we were dating. You've got a great it's job It's been two now. years? Yeah, I guess I am making decent money. You make more than I do. You may not have a house yet, but your apartment's great. It's bigger than mine. 
I don't even know if Sheldon thinks about marriage. Not getting any younger. There was a point that he did. Honestly, I wonder what happened with that. We might have had some sort of... Oh, the sound of crying can make me lactate. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help it. Oh, that's gonna make me cry. <laughs> and there they go. <laughs> well, Sheldon, turns out we didn't need you after all. That's right, we figured it out all by ourselves. <laughs> Wasn't even that hard. Oh, good for you guys. It's like I have a grease smudge on my hand and I'm okay with it. That's wrong. Oh, no. <laughs> what should we have done differently? Well, first of all, you can't use relativistic and non-relativistic vectors in the same equation. Told ya. <laughs> <laughs> He caught on to it. Nice try, blockheads. <laughs> Come on, Sheldon, you can't turn your back on physics. And besides, you have no idea what you're doing with this stuff. But if you really want to learn the mechanical side, I can teach you anything you want to know. Excuse me, I have a girlfriend. I'm already king of the train store. That's a big flex right there. So what do you say? Oh, what choice do I have? You need me. I'm like the crankshaft of this team. That's a turbo. Oh no. It is warm in here. <laughs> I worked with a bit of a sweat. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> GPS says we'll be at the railway in three hours. I can get us there in two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that was part five of season 10 for the Big Bang Theory, and I gotta say that was hilarious. That last part there was just funny as can be because that like we had two episodes now that both Penny and Amy were having like daydreams of leonard and sheldon and that's hilarious like it was just funny the way that they did that and it was also funny the way that sheldon caught on that um leonard and howard were trying to fool him with charlie brown's hair and he just drew the head that was like the best part of that whole episode so i hope you guys enjoyed this reaction if you'd like to watch my full-length reaction to big bang theory on my patreon go ahead and check for the link down in the description of this video okay thank you guys so much for joining me and i will see you all next time remember everybody stay totally terrific Bye.